Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine and this is my week 35 pregnancy update video. I am so glad that you are here because week 35 was such a special week for us. We did a lot of stuff with our family preparing for baby. So if you are brand new here, I do week by week pregnancy videos right here on my channel where I share with you guys what I've been up to this week in pregnancy, whether it's symptoms or events that are going on or cravings or even the size of the baby. So we will share with you guys what the size of baby B is for this week. I will of course do a baby update with you guys guys as well for the bumps. Stay tuned in this video to check out everything. And if you are not yet subscribed, make sure to take like one second, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time that I upload a new video to this channel. Let's get this video started. Yeah, buddy. We are switching it up and I'm giving the intro for this YouTube video. We are going to be showing you the size of our baby, the size of our Titan. Christine is back there and she's so excited to tell you what the size of our baby is. What's the size? Pineapple! Let's go! First and foremost, this is the first time I actually think that the size of the fruit, look at Duncan, he's going crazy. The size of the fruit is actually the size of her belly. It's pretty big. And we've had some pretty lame vegetables the past couple weeks. We needed this pineapple. Wait till you see what we do with this pineapple. Stay tuned. One of the most exciting things that happened, honestly, for week 35 was that I had my virtual baby shower. So this entire time I've been really looking forward to doing our baby shower. And for the past couple months, especially what's all going on right now, during this time of COVID-19, there really hasn't been the opportunity to be able to set a date for our baby shower. So of course we were planning to do it like mid to late May. We just had never set out the invitations because we were like, will it be safe? Will we all be able to actually get together? So we've been kind of putting it off for a while. And it got to the point where we're like, okay, we're like a couple weeks away from baby being here. We really want to celebrate with our family and friends, even if it's just virtually, even if we can't all kind of get together in person. We decided about a week ago to put together our virtual baby shower. We sent out little virtual invites and I wanted to just kind of share with you guys how that virtual baby shower experience went from like planning it to hosting it to kind of our overall thoughts because I know there's a lot of other people out here that are watching that might be hosting their own virtual baby shower. Maybe it's for you or for a friend or for a family member or you're just like, hey, how the heck do those work? Because I feel like this is around the time where a lot of people are doing them for baby showers, bridal showers, birthdays, just like family get-togethers. If you need any tips, I'm going to share with you guys some tips on things that we really liked and that worked well for us. And then you guys, of course, can use that at your disposal as well. So when it came down to planning our virtual baby shower, we decided that we wanted to do something with our family. And then we were going to do something separate with our friends. Since it wasn't just going to be like one little event, we knew it was going to be a lot of people. We wanted to make sure that it kind of ran smoothly. So we decided we're going to do something just with our families. I used a website called Evite. It's basically just electronic invitations. And they have so many templates that are already available to you. So I literally went on there. It took me like a whole 15, 20 minutes, probably longer, because I was like, I don't know what to say. But everything was kind of already done for me. It had like the graphic. I picked something that was similar to our nursery theme, which is jungle theme. So I picked like some animals. And you just basically typed in the information that you would typically include on an invite. The date, I put the time, and then I put all the information in the description, including the Zoom link that we were going to use. And what we decided is with our family, we would just break them up into two groups. So both using Zoom a couple hours apart, as opposed to doing one massive one, we were like, that's going to be a lot of people all on one Zoom. We really want to make sure that we have time to kind of celebrate with everyone, have conversations, have everybody be able to interact. And we knew if it got to like over 40 or 50 people on Zoom, like if you guys have been on Zoom before with that many people, it's a lot, especially if everyone wants to talk to. So we want to make sure that we had that time with everyone. I made two separate invites on evite.com. Then all we really needed to do was figure out what we wanted to do on the actual virtual baby shower event. We assumed it'd probably be about an hour. I made a really quick agenda because I'm someone that like needs to plan in advance. Like even if we don't follow the agenda, I need to have something like written down that we were gonna hopefully do. I wanted to share updates on how I was feeling, share the baby name with everyone. We hadn't told most people in our family yet the name of the baby. So we will of course be releasing that to you guys as well here very shortly. I want to make sure that we told our family of course first. And then I wanted to play some sort of game. You ever until baby shower, like games are fun. We did one that was called like mommy and daddy. I will actually maybe put it here up on the screen. Everyone basically just had to write down if they thought that was going to be mom or dad. So for example, who's going to change the most diapers? Who's going to be the most strict? Or who is going to be up in the middle of the night with babies? And then Emmanuel and I, we had not talked about it beforehand. On the spot, we shared with everyone what we thought our thoughts were. It was kind of a fun interactive game that we could play with our family. So we did that. And then we did a nursery tour. So we 
took everybody up to the nursery. Those that had sent gifts, we kind of showed them like, hey, we got your gifts. And we showed them what those things were. And we also just kind of shared around the nursery, the items that we had, furniture we had set up and kind of what we had planned to do for the room. And of course, get some advice and kind of just have some conversation before the hour was up. I thought it was really fun, got some great advice, was able just to kind of celebrate with everyone. And frankly, although I would have of course preferred <laughs> to be able to get everybody in person, we were actually able to connect with more people because we did it virtually. So I was able to see some of my cousins and my aunts and uncles and Emmanuel was able to see a bunch of his side of the family, which is on the opposite end of the country that we might not have honestly been able to see even if we did do things in person. And we also, I should mention, like invited everyone, even like the males that my brother was on, my male cousins were on, my uncles were on, like everybody we wanted to have there on our virtual baby shower just to celebrate with us. We thought it was a really special moment. I am so glad that we did it. I just wanted to share with you guys the details so that if you are doing your own virtual baby shower, hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of insight in terms of how we did it and hopefully it will help you out as well. Here is this week's bump date. I'm going to show you guys the belly. I'm wearing this skirt. I think I wore this last week for our bump date update as well. This is where we are for this week. You can really see it's bumping out. I only have so many pants and things to wear and so it's really hot today. So I was like, skirt it is. <laughs> this is where we're at. I still can't tell if baby is dropping or not. I don't really think there's much progress from um, last week to this week in terms of that, but I feel like he's going out. Like I feel like I notice it every single day how much larger he's getting inside. I'm pretty sure he gains about a half a pound every single week, especially for the past several weeks. If he was like a little over four pounds, how many weeks ago was that? Like four weeks ago? He's probably close to six pounds right now. How crazy is that? For the food challenge this week, you're going to need number one, a pineapple. Make sure it's ripe. You're gonna need your weapon of choice, a cutting board, your favorite bevy. In light of this particular video, I'm going to do a truly pineapple, but you can use whatever you want. Crushed ice, and you're gonna need a straw. Step number one, take your pineapple, and you go ahead, slice the hair off this guy. Boom, that's step one. Step number two is a little bit complicated and I've never done it, but we're gonna try to, what do you call it? Pour it, scoop the insides out so that I can make this into a cup. watched a YouTube video. I definitely just went through. We're gonna have to putty that. Shoot, now what? The quick Google search that I did says, once you get it to this point, you're supposed to cut it into fours and then scoop the actual fruit out. Cause you're not using the fruit. You're just using this for a cup. So cut it into and then maybe get like a spoon and like scoop it all out. You get the biggest spoon you have and get all this stuff out of there. I cut it into fours like she said. Oh, that's actually pretty easy. I'm getting it. That's a little tough. <laughs> Scoop it out with ease. This is easy to do. Ah! So it's not the prettiest thing, but I have, <laughs> I've made a hole. There's some juice in there. Squish it around. You want that juice to kick in there. Then you're gonna take this bad boy and you're gonna make a very small hole for your straw. No, okay. I don't think you put that all back on. Oh yeah, you do. It's all about the, the bouginess. Only drink out of a freaking pineapple when you wanna be bougie. I wanna be super bougie, <laughs> yes. Get your extra stuff out of the way. This is where the magic happens. You take your ice, whoops, just dump it in there. You take your bevy of choice. Shout out to Truly Pineapple, who did not sponsor this video, but I will accept sponsorship right after delivery. My wife would like Truly Hard lemonade, if you guys can send that our way, I would appreciate it. Put the top on after you pour in. Oh, 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 yeah, buddy. Go ahead and take that. You just swash that all around. Cheers, guys. This is what we have made in honor of our Titan. Mmm. -hmm. You get a little chunk of pineapple in there too. I'm gonna go to the patio with this updates and symptoms that I want to share with you guys for week 35. I think about three of them that I want to share. Number one, I shared last week I had a lot of hip pain. I don't know what happened. I feel like I like got up and all my muscles were like loosening up. So I actually got to go to the chiropractor this week. I have been going to see a chiropractor if you guys have been watching these videos. As soon as I had any lower back pain, I was like, I gotta check out a chiropractor. I know a lot of people go. I had never routinely went to a chiropractor before, but I thought it was worth a shot and I honestly have loved the experience. So I went and I let her know that like things were just kind of shifting around. I was feeling a little bit 
bit of pain on either side of my hip for the past week or so. And she was like, that's totally normal. Things are just like loosening up, preparing for labor, which is what I thought. But she was able to adjust me a little bit, which felt really, really good. And honestly, the pain has not been very bad. It's been kind of reducing. And so I've also been able to go back doing some of my regular workouts. For the past week prior, I had typically only been walking. Like I just wanted to make sure I wasn't doing anything that was draining my hip at all because I didn't know what I had done. We've not only been going for our walks about once or twice a day, but I also have been doing some lower impact bar workouts, which feel really good. Update number two is that I actually got a haircut this week. I don't know if that's like something monumental I should share, but I feel like I need to get everything done before we actually gets here this isn't really a mom cut yet you know but i got all the dead ends cut off whenever you're ready baby i'm ready and the third pregnancy update for the week is that i have not yet packed my hospital bag but i am getting closer so i may have mentioned this last week i honestly cannot remember but a lot of people are like have you packed your bag yet baby could come any moment now and i'm like i know any suggestions on what i should actually pack in my hospital bag please put that in the comment section below this might be a little tmi but I didn't have enough underwear, socks, bras, any of those things to spare. Even having a bag, if it was like three pair. I was like, I don't have enough socks. I don't have underwear in a bag that I don't need for the next couple of weeks. So I told Emmanuel about this and he was like, Christine, I think it's a problem that you don't have enough socks or underwears or bras. Like, I think you should just order yourself some. So I did a little Target, a little Amazon spree, got myself some new undergarments. I feel like I should be able to pack my bag now for this next week. So stay tuned. Hopefully I will have that done. I just want to make sure that I have a bag that's like ready by the door. So whenever we maybe start to have contractions or my water breaks or anything wild, I have everything that I need. That's my last little pregnancy update that I wanted to give you guys in terms of things that specifically happened in week 35. I also forgot to mention something extremely important. When you do this, you got to keep your tag on <laughs> because you got to rep the dole or wherever you got it from. You got to rep the brand of your pineapple. Keep the tag on, okay guys? Mm. <laughs> and then just go ahead and enjoy the weather. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's pregnancy update video. I hope that you liked it. I will be sharing with you guys next week more about our 36 week OB appointment. I'll share with you guys our other baby showers that we had. And then of course we are about to get the nursery really going and really organized. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. Hopefully I will be able to do a little nursery reveal for you guys to kind of just share more with you guys in terms of what we have set up for baby. But until then, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and also make sure to hit the notification bell so that you are notified every single time that new videos come onto this channel. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Do I have any more updates to share? What else should I share about this week? I don't know what else has happened that I am forgetting. And just in case any of you guys were wondering, it is 10 o'clock. It is never too early to have a beverage. Cheers. I'm almost out. Okay.